And speaking of transportation, Atlantis's plans for domestic seaplane operations near Montague Bay are dead in the water. After Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Tourism, Investments and Aviation, the Honorable Chester Cooper says it encountered overwhelming opposition from the sailing community. The property held a town meeting earlier this month with hopes of garnering public support to acquire a water aerodrome license to operate in the area. Those plans, though, rejected by the Civil Aviation Authority and the Port Authority. With another location selected, Cooper says the concept has some merit, as the Bahamas is a high-end destination with many islands and keys. The sheer charm of the experience of taking a seaplane uh, to Walker's Key or to Andros uh, and landing at your hotel uh, is really a significant product enhancement for the islands of the Bahamas. So in principle, I support uh, the, the, the concept. Uh, we have to find, though, uh, logistically, the location that makes sense. Uh, as a launching pad. In the meantime, I'm confident, though, that these uh, flights will continue, leaving from LPIA, uh, maybe landing in areas across the Bahamas where they are approved to land. Uh, and therefore, you know, the project, I'm sure, will, will go on. The ball is back, and the ball is the Red Ribbon Ball, the 27th annual Red Ribbon Ball in aid of the Bahamas AIDS Foundation, and the theme this year is 1001 Arabian Nights. Zamer is a proud supporter of the AIDS Foundation and the Red Ribbon Ball. Over the years, we found that what we do best creates an atmosphere for people to open up their pockets. Well, at John Bull, we believe in the work of the AIDS Foundation. You know, I've been told whenever you see that little blue bag, it brings excitement. Well, we're going to have lots of blue bags at this year's Red Ribbon Ball, and we have no doubt that it will be fabulous. So at Alive Business, we're extremely excited to be a part of the Red Ribbon Ball once again this year, and that we're able to contribute $10,000 towards the success of this program. As Commonwealth Brewery, we're more than proud to partner with uh, the Bahamas AIDS Foundation. We're going to provide our best wines to entertain and bring the right atmosphere to, uh, to the group. So we at Wildflowers are thrilled that the ball is back. And we're very excited to be able to contribute to this event by decorating the Airbnb nights more beautiful than ever before. Hello everyone, I'm Fern Carey. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things said and asked.